I think it's three. I don't know. Uh, here is tonight's edition of Kennedy's Court, where if you do the crime, we'll have a good time. Here's how we play. I'll read some crazy crime headlines. Mike Chase, our official defense attorney, is going to play defense attorney and try to get these crackpots out of the clink. Our other panelists, Joe DeVito and Abby Hornacek, will act as jury and explain why they think the suspect is guilty or not guilty as judge. I deliver the final verdict and sentencing. The court is now in session. Are you ready for case number one, Mike? Yes, Your Honor. Here we go. Mississippi man bites off man's nose during argument over a golf game. 51-year-old Mark Wells had been fighting with another man all day about a golf game they'd played previously when he bit off the victim's nose and fled the scene. The nose was never recovered. Mark is facing up to seven years for felony mayhem. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, what was he doing with his nose that close to somebody's mouth, mm. okay? I think this is a self-defense case. If you put your nose, the tip of your nose, that close to somebody's mouth, I think you are asking for it to get bitten off. It's kind of like the stand your ground rule, only a little more up close and personal. But Stand your nose. But yeah, exactly. Stand your nose or stand your mouth or wh whoever it is. But look, I think golf desperately needs this kind of excitement. <laughs> and so I think they're bringing something to the game that's fresh, it's exciting. I think he should be acquitted for that reason. Yeah, I think live golf is actually going to have a nose Fighting mm -hmm. instead of sudden death. It's yes. Be sudden mayhem. Abby? Oh. Guilty or innocent? I think he's guilty because maybe the guy was just smelling him because he smelled good. And that's not a, you, you don't have to defend oh, yourself yeah. if someone's sniffing you if you smell good. That's your own fault. Yeah. Ask Vice President Joe Biden. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we have to go to the precedent of Mississippi's uh, sniff your ground law so that uh, the, the question to me is when he when he bit the nose off, was it to spite his face? <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's what this case hinges on. It really does. So guilty or not guilty? I'm going to say uh, guilty with a good excuse. All right. So he, uh, he is guilty, Mike, and he has to have his own nose removed. <laughs> I can't win them all. And he has to live like that, and he does not get to own a chimp. All right. So there you go. That's case number one. That's done. In the books. Case number two, Michigan woman arrested for skipping items at Walmart self-checkout identified by AI. 34-year-old Teddy Jo Marie Fillum, Fleam, whatever, she's accused of stealing more than $1,000 worth of goods from Walmart over a period of months by skipping items during the self-checkout process. She was caught by the company's AI loss prevention system, which retraced her entire history of theft. She is charged with first-degree retail fraud. I'm excited about this case. This is an easy case because every person in that jury box, right, they're mad for the same reason that I am. This supermarket chain got rid of cashiers because they were trying to save money, but they spent all this money on a fancy AI system that could then track this person down. I'm sorry, I think it's the empty chair defense. The supermarket should be on trial. It's their fault. Yeah, and no red light cameras. Abby, yeah. guilty or not guilty? I mean, based off of that letter we, we read earlier, it's probably the supermarket's fault just like it's the car company's fault, according yeah. to them. And it looks like she still has an item in that bun. So, <laughs> you know, if it's that easy to steal, you can't blame the thief. Yeah, she has cockroaches in her beehive. They've eaten her brain. Joe? I say not guilty uh, because if your last name is Fleum, you're obligated to flee the scene of any crime that you've participated in. And if uh, AI can track any history you have at Walmart, yeah. that's your own poor choices coming back. You should not have a Walmart history. Absolutely not. Well said, she's not guilty. Good Thank job, you. Mike. You're one and one. Thank you. Let's see if you can uh, improve your odds with this. Case number three, Ohio mom arrested for allowing 10-year-old son to get tattooed by a teenager. Who among us? 34-year-old Nikki Dixon was charged with first-degree misdemeanor child endangerment for allowing a teenager to tattoo her 10-year-old because she was tired of him begging to get inked. Uh, the teenager videoed the tattoo session. It took place in his house and posted it to Facebook. It's not illegal to tattoo a 10-year-old in Ohio, police say. Uh, the teenager's home did not meet necessary safety and sanitary conditions. The same teenager is accused of tattooing someone else who later contracted a staph infection. This is bureaucrats meddling in our private affairs again. It's a health and safety standard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to trial, and I'm going to call all of this 10-year-old's classmates up. And I'm, this is not child endangerment. He was probably the, the, the coolest kid in school. I'm going to have these other 10-year-olds testify about how awesome he looked with yeah. his new ink. Yeah. And this is not child endangerment. This is child enhancement, yeah. is my argument. So I think she gets the cool mom award. So it's the cool mom defense. <laughs> Abby? Um, I can't give my answer because I haven't seen a picture of the tattoo. Yes. So I, I, I think this case needs to be thrown out. It's a giant it, eagle it's a mistrial. on his neck. 
Oh. And then on his chest it says leave, live free or die. So that's one you used to have at UCLA. <laughs> that's right. It says taxation is theft. Yeah. That's, right here. that's my boy. <laughs> Joe? Uh, I think uh, I th think we throw this one out because uh, I agree there's nothing more. The only thing more badass than a 10 year old with a tattoo is a 10 year old with an infected tattoo. Yeah. yeah. That's, a tough that's kid. right. Yeah, nice she's not friend. guilty. Do we have time for one more? Okay, North Carolina man loses finger very quick. In attempted burglary, 67-year-old Vernon Forrest Wilson accused of attempted armed home invasion. He struggled with and fired a shot at the homeowner. The struggle ended when the homeowner slammed the front door on Vernon's hand. He lost his finger with his glove. Uh, and Vernon, uh, police use the finger to catch and charge Vernon. Okay, look, who's more dangerous? The person who didn't complete a robbery or the person who chopped their finger off with the door? I, <laughs> look, I think it's no harm, no foul. Feed the finger to my client that ate the nose, and it's all fine. <laughs> Abby, That's... guilty, not guilty? I say guilty. Yes. Guilty, not guilty? Uh, I say not guilty. You'll I'm have... not guilty! <laughs> You'll have well done, everybody. A phenomenal Kennedy's <laughs> court, a nail-biter to the very end. Thank you so much, Joe, Abby, Mike. Beautiful.